That's it for now. Please don't uh, let your emotions rule, especially as markets drop. Good morning, guys. It's my sixth day here in Melbourne, Australia. I'm flying back tomorrow, so I'll be back in Manila by Thursday, getting ready for our Stock Smart session there this weekend. So, we just came from a holiday yesterday, which of course, you all know this is a very, very shortened trading week because we have another holiday this Friday. I think, yeah, this Friday This Friday is another holiday. So put the two and two together. We just have three trading days relatively. When there's just three trading days, you can expect uh, relatively low uh, volumes, low value turnovers. Uh, if there is something that would cause it to move up, move higher with a large amount of volume, there must be a really, really, I guess, significant catalyst to bring more uh, buyers and sellers into the table. So uh, let me give you at least a quick update on what's happening in the market. It's past 10 a.m. in Manila. It's already noon time here in Melbourne, Australia. So uh, markets are open. Let's see what's happening as of this point in time. So this is a PSEI update. However, let me talk about now first. Now it's below our 9 peso support range. So that being said, if it's below our 9 peso support range, expect that hmm, it could possibly uh, retrace downward even further because of the failure of that support. Now, I want to talk about the PSEI since this is a PSE, PSEI market update. Uh, the market today as of uh, as of 10 a.m., no, 10 plus a.m. is down 107, 1.76% at 7,634. What does it have to do with everything? You all know that I mentioned in the previous videos that we have a support, um, a not so strong support range at 7,700. Also, from the previous videos, I mentioned that the closer it is to 7,900 or above 7,800, you the market will expect a level of selling. So that's what we actually saw. We now confirmed still further that the closer we are to 7,900, we have a relatively larger resistance area at that place. We have an area where there could be more selling as well as of this point in time. So what does this mean? As the 7,700 level did not uh, push through, it did not hold. Expect that there's a possibility for the markets to continue to retrace downward as close as we can again to the 7,500 level. So with that, uh, should there be any shifts in the market or should there be any changes, the possible movement uh, over the next few days and weeks for the PSEI in general will bring the market from a range of 7.5 to 7.9. 7.5 being uh, the base that we've seen over the past few weeks and 7.9 being the relatively larger uh, resistance level that we've seen as well. Uh, there could be a possibility that 7.7 now just becomes uh, the mid-range, you know, it becomes the mid-range for the resistance which could possibly uh, just be broken down easily as you've seen it. Uh, the, the, the weaker the resistance is, the weaker the resistance of the stock is, it's easier to be broken out from but the weaker it is also if it breaks out, the support level of that is not as strong as well. So that's what I'm saying, that's what uh, I'm pointing to all of this that uh, since 77 we broke out of it, 77 was not as strong, 77 was easily also broken down from. Hence, uh, just reiterating that we have a 7579 uh, tradable range as well. Um, from price and volume oscillators, it's surprising to see though that we have money coming into the markets, but this is pretty much locally driven, meaning it's locals who are putting in the money for all of this movement. Uh, and I've said this in different videos, no? for the markets to go higher, it has to be local and foreign buying, but we've still seen a plethora of relatively strong uh, foreign selling, along with uh, not so convincing value turnovers. We need a large amount of value turnovers to make this as, I don't know, as aggressive and as compelling as possible as well so with that also some of the price and momentum oscillators are still showing us that the market is still bearish we have no uh how do i put this we have no compelling reversals yet showing that the market has shifted from bearish to bullish for the short mid and long term so that's what's very very interesting about the market um we have no reversal signals yet especially from a position trading standpoint so if you're a position trader allow me to update you on where to possibly go for quick traders just follow the 75 uh rule as our current support range as well so that's it for now please don't uh, let your emotions rule especially as markets drop 
um, drops like this, I've seen it especially for people who are relatively newer into trading, uh, you tend to uh, base your decisions on emotions or you tend to jump the gun jump the gun too quickly because you think the market is relatively cheap already. But don't do it that way. Follow what the chart is telling you. Follow what the fundamentals also is driving uh, the markets as well. So that's it for now. Um, headed back to Manila in the next few hours. For those who are enjoying the videos, just comment below, like, subscribe, or, or let me know if you have any other questions so I can give you uh, deeper insights also on what's happening in the market. So I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. This is Marvin Grimo from Melbourne, Australia. See you all again soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Hindi ko ngayon sa kung ano mo po post ko dito.